the question says that you are given a graph and then you have to answer the following questions. First one is for what values of x is y1? That means we have to draw the line y is equals to 1, which is this line on the graph y is equals to 1. Now from the graph you have to look and find out the x values where the y is equals to 1 touches the graph. You can see it touches the graph here, 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 and here. So you look down on the x axis and find out the x value. Find out the x value, the x value, and the x values. So it will be roughly, but not exactly, because the graph is not that perfect. So if you look at this one, this is if that is minus 2, and every point is minus 2.2, this is minus 2.4, 2.6, 2.8. So you can write this as 2.7. So x would be, in this case, x is minus 2.7. Nine. The next one is two minus two, and you go back here. This is two, two point four, and this is two point. Sorry, this is two point two, and this is two point four. So between two point two and four, that would be two point three. And then this one is less than. 3, you can say that is 2.9. Okay, because this is 2.2, this is 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, you can say that is 2.9. The part B says, what, for what values of x is y equals to 3? So now the 3 on y is 1, y is 2, and that is y3. We draw a line. At y is equals to 3. Now you can see that this is not touching the graph at all. So that means a no x value. We don't have any x values for which y is equals to 3 is touching the graph. And for what values of y is x equals to 3? So x is equals to 3 means x is equals to 0, x is equals to 1, x is equals to 2, and x is equals to 3. If you draw a line, this straight line is called x is equals to 3. And now we have to see wherever it touches the graph and find that value on the y axis. It touches the graph only at this point. And here the y value is y equals to 0. The next one is, uh, what values of x is y less than or equals to 0? So we say that this, we know that this line, this line is y is equals to 0, and below this line we have y negative, right? At this y is 0, and below y is negative. That means k we have y is less than or equals to 0 over here. So now we have to find out where y is less than or equals to 0, what is the value of x on the graph. So on equal to x, if y is 0, we can see x is 3. We have x equals to 3 when y is equals to 0 and x is equals to sorry x is equals to minus 3 and x is equals to 3 when y is equals to 0 and now we have to check from here on here you can see that the graph is below so between this x and this x the graph or the y is less than 0. 
So we have to mention this x and this x. And how is that? You can see this one is roughly 7. So that is minus 1.75, we can say. Because that is minus 1, minus 1.2, minus 1.4, minus 1.6. And the half is minus 1.7. So it's a little bit more than half. So you can say minus, even if you write 1.7, that would be okay. So x is greater than this point, but less than this point. So what is this point? Again, this is if this is 2, this is 2.2, .2, so this is 2.1. So the x value from this to this part A, what are the maximum and minimum values of y? That means you are looking for the biggest value of y. If you look at the graph, the bigger value or the biggest value is this one. So what is this value? We draw a line, straight line, which touches or goes to the y-axis, and we can find out the value of y over here. You can see that y is maximum. The biggest value of y from the graph is. If that is 2, 2.4, 2. Point, sorry, 2.2, 2.4, 2. 2.6, um, we can say roughly 2.8. And at what value of x is this maximum value? We go down and check on the x axis. So that is at x equals 2. 2.6 minus 2.6. So minus 2, minus 2.2, .2, minus 2.4, and minus 2.6. The next one is the minimum value. So if you see, we have one here and one here, but the most smallest value is this one. And again, we draw a straight line towards y axis. So this is minus 2, that is minus 2.4. So y minimum is, oh sorry, not 2.4, 2.2. If that is minus 2, 2.2, 2.4, 6, 8, and then okay. So that is minus 2.4, 2.2, and this is at x is equals to, we again go straight to x axis. So that is f. 1.2. This is 1, so 1.2. Thank you.